Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today I'd like to do a little bit of RF tools, but very first of all, let's have a quick look at what I've been doing. I've been moving things around. So first of all you'll see I've moved the Industrial Craft 2 machines from downstairs by the reactor room to up here where I've connected it directly to these solar panels. So these should be coming through this MFSU here, which should be fully charged, which it is, and then that comes down here to a charge pad and then for these charge pads. So I quickly stand on that, and I should be very quickly charged up. So 96% on the body armor, and here we have the pattern storage in the. What else do we have? A pattern storage scanner and the replicator. Right there we are. So the replicator basically is the one where you put your matter in and it produces the iridium ore. And here we have the molecular transformer for producing more stuff related to the solar panels. Here I haven't done too much work, but down below I have. I've been moving machines around. Here's the, uh, what I had before was the, the lasers and the integration table and the assembly table, which I'm going to put put here beside the re this reactor and while I was doing this I had just came across a little problem I thought I'd go to expert mode because I upgraded to version 202 and then I found I could not produce yellow ingots very easily I had to go through a much more complicated process so I went back to normal mode to keep life simple for the time being and here we have down here we have I moved these machines around here too uh, instead of I've, this time I've grouped them by mod as opposed to grouping them by um, function uh, and this one here is new this is the remote storage and the remote storage is being used by inside it has these four storage modules and you have to link these storage modules together with this on this storage tablet and then you can basically treat it like this so if I press 6 and you have a different uh, tablet in different storage modules and you can cycle through those so this was what actually interested me because it's quite a cheap recipe to make these things let's get over to the to the workbench and here I've been playing with some more decoration stuff and the reason Ah, before I start, let's go back here a bit. The reason this is out is because this is producing iron nuggets. And these nuggets, if I just take some, have a look at these nuggets. These nuggets are Tinker's Construct Nuggets. But if I simply take an iron bar out of here, and then craft that iron bar, oh, actually, that's one of the update changes. This time, I don't get a an iron nugget from Tinker's Construct, but I get one out of Tramcraft. And that was actually creating a problem with some recipes I'd already got set up in the auto crafting. So for example, in here, I have got, I don't think I can see it so easily. Let's go into here. In here, I've got a recipe for um, iron nuggets. It's down the bottom here. Here we go. But I couldn't find a way of producing a recipe for the Tinker's Construct Iron Nugget. And these are all being used in the in these uh, solar panels here. So in order to let the recipe work, I removed the, the block out of the out of the uh, applied energistics bit. So if I look for iron, you'll see now I have two different types. I have the tramcraft and I have the um, Tinker's Construct, so I can actually put that in here, and they, they are separate, but it was a bit of a problem because I was creating uh, these and they were getting converted to, to these Tinker's Construct ones by the by this compacting door here, drawer here, and I didn't know what, how to do it, so I just removed this out of the block. Right, let's go downstairs again, because I have been doing a little bit of work with applied energistics and I've actually been what I've been doing with applied energistics 
as I was moving around my mess and here I was playing with some wooden blocks to see what they look like so here I had a bit of a mess so here I've split them up into sort of four different groups of uh, molecular assemblers and each one of each one of those has got six uh, ME interfaces on it and then from the ME from one side of these are basically connecting to a crafting storage block so that's really three I think this works out as three processors connecting to these four different molecular assemblers and on the last one I put up here to use the extra channels because it, that's basically a six channels for each one of these plus that seven which would give you 28 so then you're left over with about uh, four channels from your 32 from the dense cable here it certainly gives me a lot more crafting recipe space which I'm quite pleased about but also at the same time broke uh, what, I, what I did is actually hit one of these behind it by accident one of the Steve uh, can't see it there the inventory cables from Steve's factory just removed it and it broke all the recipes so I had to go and put those back in again well just correct them because when he was I was getting sort of like uh, I think it was get processor and it was getting it from some other block not the one it should have been getting it out of but that's working again right let's go back to let's go the quick way up back to the workshop and have a look at today's theme right today's theme was RF tools wasn't it and specifically what I was looking at was the um, there's got a lot of RF tool stuff are these components storage modules, dimlet storage dimlet, uh, storage module tier 1, 2, 3 the remote storage module and or dictionaries I think there are more of them so basically it's all to do with storage so if we just type in storage instead of RF tools here you'll see we have the different levels so for example we can craft one of these uh, probably better not to do it this way is it let's go back again here if you look at the recipe for this it's quite cheap so it's just two nether quartz one redstone, one iron, two iron gold ingots and one chest very basic stuff and you can also do it from a, a storage, uh, basically this actually splits it up so if you've got a, a storage module tablet you can just put it in the crafting table and it takes out the, the storage modules and the second tier is using tier 1 instead of nuggets it's using ingots the rest is the same and three is using blocks instead of ingots and this gives you th a capacity of 300 stacks which is quite reasonable and here you have other ones so you have here the remote storage module and this one basically produces what I've got on the wall no it isn't what I've got on the wall is the storage scanner I actually haven't built this one yet a remote storage which is quite easy to make it's just four ender poles three nether quartz one machine frame machine frames just two lapis and two, four iron it's really quite, really quite easy and then you can build that and you can also have a module storage here so the one I've got is this remote storage and inside it I've got three, four of these storage tiers and what you can do is let's go and have a look again let's just take something like coal take a stack of coal and you may have noticed this was they've changed the these st uh, storage drawers here they've basically changed the interface so left click now brings out a stack like gabba barrels and shift left click brings out an individual item right so look so here we have a filter which these don't actually work in the remote storage they only work in the um, in the local storage 
which is probably I've already got to some local storage. Let's just build one for for purposes of demonstration. Right, back to storage modules. So we want one storage module. So we want one of these. here and we want one of these I don't have something what do I not have oh chest fancy not having a chest in my storage module storage and let's take that over here let's, this doesn't need power but the remote storage one does so we put it down here and we shall take out of here one of these unit these uh, cards and we can put this card into here and you'll see there's nothing on it at all and you can also put into it dimlet storage, which goes into the middle one, or a filter, so if you're filtering stuff. Or you can do an OR dictionary. Now, so if you basically put coal in there, it tells you how many coal you've got. And you can change the interface quite happily, so you've got sorting one. I'd probably better have put more than one thing in, wouldn't it? Spruce with planks. Count, you can sort it on count. Sort it on OR type name which is probably sensible and then you can change this so that's the sort of the standard chest look so when you get to it, it highlights and tells you what it is here's a list here's two column lists a short list and back to the first one and this one here so if you've got two different metals so that's a good example let's go and get that from actually let's go and get that from here Let's take those two iron nuggets. One second. Put those back. Not those. Let's shift those into here. So if I change this now to the storage here, we should be able to sort by ore type. Doesn't make any difference for this one, does it really? Grouping compact equal stacks sort by count. Ah oh, yes, now you now have a different a different view with the groups in it. Without the groups and with the groups. I'm not quite sure what the this one does. Maybe you have to split it into two, maybe it helps then. Nope. Okay, great description, that one. Never mind, we'll have it back to the standard one, which I prefer anyway. So now, if I take this card out of here, put this into the remote storage here, I hope that you can see it again. Where's it gone to? Here we go. So this has got ID 4. And you see its contents is 4 of 300 stacks. So if we now go back to the storage tablet, and we change the cycle to the next storage module. So that's the first one. That's the st Actually, that must have been the second one. That's the fourth one. So you now see it's all in here. And if you actually put a new storage module in, you have to register it. So let's go and get a new storage module. Actually, I can craft it from here, can't I? Let's craft one of these. Okay, no problem, I can do everything. Start it. And we have it already. So let's just put this into here. And let's put into, for example, some of these linked books and just stuff and stuff. And we can take the card out of here. Come across to this box over here and take out this one. I think this is. 
Oh, that one's full. Let's put the first one. Well, let's put that into here and then take this one with the four stacks on there. So now when you come back here, you shouldn't be able to see that particular card. And the reason for that is you have to sort of link it together. So let's just do that. Link this together. All you have to do is to put that into there. I think it goes like that. Ah, yes. No, it doesn't work that way. It works like this. Let's just sort this first of all. And then we have to put this in the craft it. And when you've craft it, you take, you split the two things up. So you've now got a storage tablet and a remote storage module. And what you have to do is with this storage module, you have to put this one into here. So that's now linked to five, two, three, and four. So then we have to put this back together again. And they have to be linked and charged, I think. Now this time, we should be able to see those items that I put in before, which is great. You can take them out just like normal. And that's it. But it's actually quite good, this thing. So, for example, if we go off to the, the nether, or even the end, and if you may have noticed, just below, I had some books. In fact, they're all the same. They all go to the end. So let's just go to the end. Oh. Get out of the way in case we get attacked. And here, if I use this thing, I should still be able to see. Ah, oh, out of reach. I wonder what I have to do to make that work. I think to get this to work, it says you can do it between uh, dimensions as well. Mm. I'm not sure if I have to set that up on the on the thing. Let's go back again. Now is that in here? Interdimensional access only. Ah, okay. So if, for example, I have to do cross-dimensional here, and then we should be able to get those items. So let's go and do that again. I suspect it'll probably use more power doing that. I think all, actually, to be honest with you, I think all of these books go to the end because I'll link them all at the same time. So, this time. Oh, still not working. Brilliant. Oh, well, that was a great demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I have to go to kill a few uh, Endermen while I'm here. Let's just use it. Oh, here he is. Oh, so he's not going red. That makes great noises, that thing. Right, so. Why did that not work? I don't know. I shall have to find out. And next time I shall report back. Maybe I just double check it that there isn't another setting I missed. It's not that I picked two that were empty. No, I've got some locks in. That one's empty. That wasn't clever. That was got some in. That's got something in. I don't think I have to put the card back in again, but just for the sake, let's just try it. Else can we see everything? Yes, we can. Just for the sake of arguments, let's put these two in there. 
Let me know we've got something in every every storage compartment. One of the other things that's changed in the while I'm trundling over here is um, there's a new expert mode, and with the expert mode, I can fly. With the expert mode, it actually makes some of the recipes more difficult. So, for example, I ran out of power, um, and I ran out of power because the other room had finished, and I'm not sure if it finished because the recipes changed. But what I f found the new recipe you have to use, you can't make it the same way. So you have to use uh, uranium ore as well as ylorium ore to make some ylorium ingots. So it's my power's all set up to use nuclear, I think that wasn't such a great thing for me. So I fixed that. Anyway, let's see if this works now. Oh yes, there we go. And it's working across dimensions. And I think it uses a, um, power when you actually take stuff out of here. So it just should have a charge. I'm not sure if we can see the charge. Let's have a look here. Oh yes, there you are. It's got uh, 19,900. Let's just take something out of here. And I think it uses 100 RF per item you take out, stack you take out. Let's have a look. Yes, there you go. So now it's 19,800. So it uses a little bit of power, but probably not as much as uh, applied energistics. Right, let's go back. Another little visitor. But we have to... I don't need any end pearls anyway, so... Let's go back home. And... So, what I've got to do now is to finish off, I'm doing a bit of interior decorating, I thought I'd try to put some marble floors because this is a bit boring, all this stone, and it is sort of a home, so until next time, I shall say goodbye. Bye for now. <laughs>